Good morning to ya. It's a beautiful Monday morning out today. I just wanted to say, fuck fantasy football. All right. I just I, I started this talking to my microphone for no reason because I wanted to rant to somebody about some fucking fantasy football bullshit. It wasn't really fantasy football. It was actually NFL bullshit, but fucked me over. All right, here's the situation. NFC Championship game, or whatever they call it in fantasy. I'm <clears throat> I'm down 20 points, right? They have a kicker left. The, the opposing team has one kicker left. I'm down 20 points. Who do I got left? Big Ben, Le'Veon Bell, Brandon Cooks, and Jason Witten. I'm going... Easy fucking peasy. It's in the fucking bag. I got the dub. Whatever. Who gives a shit about this fucking game? No. No. Leave it on Bell. Fantastic game. Great game. 26 points for me. Big Ben. Great game as well. But that last fucking drive for the Steelers versus Patriots. That's a fucking touchdown, I'm telling you. I don't care. I know what you're saying right now. You're going, oh man, that was a touchdown. You know the rules. Yeah, I know the rules, but guess what? I don't fucking care. That's a touchdown, baby. You ever seen those running backs dive into the end zone? Fucking, they fumble the ball instantly. Yesterday, there was a catch in the end zone by a wide receiver. He caught it, dropped it instantly. They called it a touchdown because he had possession of it. I don't know what that was. Looked like he had clear possession of it. Whatever. Uh, it's a dumb rule. The refs got it right. Dumb rule. Alright, that takes away some points. So I'm going, fuck. That's okay. They'll kick a field goal, and guess what? I'll get more points in overtime from Big Ben and Le'Veon. Easy peasy, baby. I'm happy with the call, actually. Oh, what's this? Oh, you need to spike the ball, Big Ben. What are you going to do with that ball? Oh, you're going to fake spike it. Oh, Eli Rogers isn't going to run a fucking fade? Oh, oh, you're going to throw a slant right in the middle of fucking four guys? And throw an interception, lose the game, and lose me points? Ah! I apologize for your ears. What the fuck was that? Piss me square off, right? So I'm going in. I'm down by eight points. All resting on Mr. Jason Witten. The man, the myth, and the legend. The old buck tight end. What does he do? He gets me eight points. Alright? Gets me eight points. So I'm tied with this person right now. Fuck you, Derek Carr, by the way. That game could have gone to overtime. Jason Wenton gets a catch. That's a dub. That's a dub right there, baby. Derek Carr goes, hey, guess what? I want to be a little hero. I want to dive for the fucking end zone. And then you fumble it through the back of the end zone, you stupid idiot. Just kidding, I like Derek Carr. Sucks in the pocket, though. But, what are you going to do about it? I'm tied with this person right now. And, uh. Oh, can I mention their kicker, by the way? Uh, a kicker by the name of Mr. Robbie Gold. Robbie fucking gold. He is gold, right? Fucking, god damn it, Jimmy Garoppolo. Fucking find the end zone. Find it. It's not that hard, man. You look good. Just hit the end zone once in a while. Robbie gold, 24 points. Bend me over a barrel. Ugh. Lame. Lame as hell. Right? So I'm tied with this person right now. Good on easy win. But no, made it hard. Uh, they had a lead over me, or whatever. They beat me once in the regular season. So that means they're probably going to go to the championship now. And I'm going to be left getting that third place little scraps. Boom, maybe get my money back for the league, and that's about it. I want those big wins, baby. Not, not these little tiny third place wins. What the fuck? Let's go around the league. Let's look at some scores from yesterday. I'm a Vikings fan, by the way. Vikings blowing out the Bengals 34-7.
Fucking, what are you doing, Hugh? Telling the team before the goddamn game? Oh, hey, I'll probably go quit after the season. Is that, is that his voice? I have no idea. I always imagine him sounding like that. Oh, have a little, little weird voice. I'm going to quit after the season. Why? Why tell them before the game? Say something after the game. Like, the players clearly look like that affected them somehow. It was just a crap game to watch. Um, as a Vikings fan, I liked it. Case Keenum. Case closed, baby. Got to see Teddy Bridgewater jump in there. How about Teddy Bridgewater, huh? Oh, man. Everybody's cheering. Teddy, 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 Teddy. Tears rolling from my eye. A little bit. I had a little tear in my eye. Fuck you if you didn't. All right? That was a beautiful moment. I was like, uh, I was like, T.O., baby. That's my quarterback. Right? That's my quarterback. What is Teddy? I'm thinking, all right, Teddy might get to throw the ball, but it's probably just going to be run his out, right? So we're running the clock out a little bit here and there. Oh, all of a sudden, Teddy takes a little snap, and he's going back for a pass, baby. What does he do? Off the hands of Jet McKinnon, the man that had, what What do you have, like 117 receiving yards yesterday. He couldn't catch one ball. Picked off. Picked off Teddy Bridgewater first first pass in two years I felt bad for the man it was a little funny I had a good chuckle um a little, a little, a little bittersweet I didn't like it but I liked it a lot that makes sense to anybody Teddy Bridgewater the man the myth and the legend but case is still fucking closed here baby that man is a myth look at his have you ever seen his smile after the game oh beautiful Beautiful smile. I would love to see that smile on top of the fucking podium. Grabbing that trophy from fucking Roger Goodell. That's the man right there. Case Keenum. Let's look at another game here. Fucking Jaguars. We're just going to go through the blowouts right now. The Jaguars. 45-7. to Leonard Fournette didn't even play. What the fuck? Blake Bortles. How about that guy, huh? It's like, I'm going to be... A fucking gunslinging goddamn master today. What a champion. Just slinging the ball. Gunslinging away. Brett Farvesque. That would be a hilarious Super Bowl. Case Keenum v. Blake Bortles. Man. That would uh, that'd be a great Super Bowl. I mean, fantastic Super Bowl, actually. Let's go to another one here. Rams. Seahawks. Another blowout. How about that Seahawk offensive line? Ooh, that's a good offensive line, huh? Oh, let's not answer that problem at all. Let's just try to buy up every free agent that we can. And maybe our offensive line will save us. Maybe Russell Wilson's legs will save us. No, no. You got top from one of the best defensive lines in the league yesterday. You got top what it's going to be like if you make it to the playoffs. Where everybody has a good D-line. Fucking Seahawks. You're not going to make it. Don't worry. Don't even worry about it. Don't be hilarious. <clears throat> hilarious even more. These Eagles, Rams, and Vikings are all going to make the playoffs. Let's let's take a little time to say, uh, Fuck you, Jeff Fisher. Look at these quarterbacks. Huh? 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 Three failed quarterbacks? Nick Foles. Uh, granted, he only had one game. Right? But he looked like a goddamn star again in Philly. What a fucking champion against the fucking Eli Manning and whatnot. But anyways. Foles. What did you do to Foles? Right? You go, fuck Foles. He's not my guy. My guy's Jared Goff and Case Keenum. Yo, Case Keenum's going to start. Halfway through the season, you're like, Case Keenum isn't my guy. Jared Goff's my guy. Jared Goff sucks dick, too. Everybody's sucking dick, right? What do you do, Jeff Fisher? What did you do to these goddamn quarterbacks, man? What did you do? They didn't deserve this. They didn't deserve this hate. Now they're being cradled. Now they're all doing good. Being cradled in a little... 
little love, a little Vikings love, a little Eagles love, a little, uh, I don't know, I don't know the fucking coach of the Rams. Um, the, it looks like he's about 20. Um, is it Sean McDermott or some shit like that? I don't fucking know. They're just getting cuddled right now, right? What the fuck did you do, Jeff Fisher, you little asshole? All of these teams are favorites to make the Super Bowl with your goddamn quarterbacks that you thought were shit as their quarterbacks playing great football. Little bastard. Let's go to that Eagles-Giants game here. Eli Manning, Sterling Shepard. How about that? Eli Manning just pissed off at McAdoo still. He's gone now. Eli's still fired up. Just pissed. Cannot believe that he got fucking benched on some bullshit I still can't believe it either but wasn't enough to beat those eagles those pesky eagles and Nick Foles coming in and just slinging it slinging it like a champion fucking let's let's check out the the Saints V Jets Saints V Jets here. How about the Jets this year? Wow. This is unexpected, unprecedented. Winning all these games with McCown. McCown goes out. Petty played an alright game. Didn't play too bad. But the Saints. The Saints with a fucking run game and a little bit of defense. Oh my gosh. Deadly. As a Vikings fan. I did hate the Saints for a long time for what they did to us in 2009. I'm still a little salty about that. But it's hard to go against Drew Brees. I mean, he just seems like a great guy, right? Uh, He doesn't get the credit that he deserves, probably because he doesn't have those Super Bowls, because nobody wants to answer defense, and nobody wants to answer the run game. Well, now they have the answer. Elvin. Camara in Mark Ingram, right? Just like, uh, just like, uh, what, what was it? What was the old Panthers? The, the the Flash and and whatnot. The Williams and Stewart. It's basically what they are, right? Just a little zing, a little bam, a little thank you, ma'am, right? Get those dubs. Camara is a champion. Ingram champion. Drew Brees champion. Thomas champion. It's hard not to root for the Saints a little bit here, even though I still kind of hate them a little bit. How about this fucking Packers Panthers, baby? Aaron Rodgers coming back, baby. We're going. We're going to the playoffs. Oh, oh, fuck you, cheeseheads. Fuck you. No, you're not. Aaron Rodgers, three picks. Played a pretty good game, though. Pretty good game. Three, three something. Three touchdowns uh, through three something in yards, right? Pretty good game with the guy with the uh, cyborg fucking collarbone on there. Uh, Thomas Davis got a little heat. Got a little heat for that block on Devontae Adams. I don't blame him. That was a little cheap shot, man. A little cheap shot. Uh, you know, know something, though? Aaron Rodgers? As, as a Vikings fan, right? You're supposed to hate Aaron Rodgers, right? Fucking guy, uh, he's 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 shit. No, he's a really good quarterback. That's why we all hate him. But he seemed like a good guy, right? Seemed like a funny guy. Seemed like a guy I would like to have a beer with. Until Conan, he goes on there and he goes, Anthony Barr flicked me off after he hit me. <laughs> Fuck you. This is a game of football, god damn it. Quit crying about somebody flipping you off. You little bitch. You pissed me square off, right? And yesterday. Yesterday I gave it a little more of a pass because it was after the game and you're still a little heated, right? Colin Rowan came like a couple weeks after. He had time to sit on it and he still still did a little cry baby. Oh, he flicked me off. Oh. But yesterday he goes, Thomas Davis is a repeat offender. One of the best guys in the league, he says, is a repeat offender and that he should be handled by the NFL wisely. That's a little after the game, right? He's he's probably still pretty fired up that his best wide receiver got taken out there on concussion, right? Understandable. Pissed me off a little bit, though. Maybe a Vikings fan biased. I don't know. But 
you guys are still in that game. Until a little fumble at the end there, huh? How about that one? Christian McCaffrey misses the onside kick. Oh, baby, we're going to win this game. And a fumble fucks you over. Game ends. Panthers win. 10-4 and four and still in a wild card position. Can you believe that? Oh, I'd be so pissed off that we're a Panther fan right now. Speaking of the Panthers, how about their owner, huh? Selling the team. Touching on too many people. What the fuck, man? What the fuck is wrong with everybody? Why does everybody in power have to touch on somebody? Don't do that. It's naughty. Naughty, you silly boy. Let's go to the Patriots-Steelers game I ranted about a little earlier. Right? Fantastic game. Great game to watch. Until the end. A little salty. A little salty about that rule. As you can tell. Whatever. The refs got it right. The refs got it right. But. Dumb rule. Dumb rule still. But overall, great game. Big Ben. Patriots. Uh, Tom Brady. Played great. Except for that interception. That was pretty funny. Ha. Ha ha ha. I'm not really a Patriots hater. But I'm. Um, I'm still kind of, I'd rather see somebody else win if that makes sense. That's why I don't watch basketball. Because I like to see other people win other than the same team every year. Oh, Ray, uh, we go to the Titans 49ers. What the fuck are you doing, Titans? <laughs> Hear that slam? Everybody had high hopes for you. Everybody. And what do you do? What do you do? Marcus Mariota, are you the answer? What the fuck? 2015 first round quarterbacks with Jameis Winston, Marcus Mariota. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are the Titans still going to... I don't really pay attention to the UFC. Are the Titans going to make the playoffs? Probably, right? But what are they doing? Losing to the 49ers. Jimmy G. How about that guy? Three wins undefeated in his career champion oh so crown him mvp why not right still can't find the fucking end zone robbie gold yeah fucking still a little salty still a little salty it's okay it's monday just gotta let it sulk right gotta let it sulk i have no idea how this is gonna play out by the way my my fantasy team if i'm going to be able to make it to the championship Right. Let's go Cowboys Raiders. Another good game to watch. Right? Cowboys. Fucking slapping their dicks on the table. Fucking look at it, Raiders. We're going for it every fucking fourth down. What's that a fake punt? I don't fucking care. I don't care. We are going for it. We want to win this game. And they get they get a little help from the index card, right? I don't know. That, that looked like a first down. And he was just I think he said after the game the, the ref said after the game, hey. That was just just a little assurance to make sure that it was. He knew it was already first down. A little a little play on the dramatics there from him. He saw a little smirk in his face. Great guy. It looks like a first down. Fuck you, Raiders fans. Just kidding. I'm cool with the Raiders fans. <laughs> but everybody was talking about that. They folded the paper. They folded it. They folded the paper. It was folded. Who gives a shit? It was a first down. Fuck you. And then they get down, right? Derek Carr. Chance to win the game. He goes bucking. He's going to dive into that fucking end zone. Here comes Heath. Heath from the fucking other side of the field. Running like Usain Bolt. Falling right to the back and he fumbles it out of the end zone. That's another rule people were complaining about yesterday. Besides the catch rule, which is clearly bullshit. They were complaining about that one. How and out of the end of the zone is a touchback and it goes to the other team, right? Now, I don't know. I find that one to be an okay rule. There's got to be a little risk and reward for diving for that pylon, you know what I mean? can't just dive for the pylon, fumble it through the end zone, and be like, oh, just, we'll just give it back to him on the 20, right? 
That's fine. That's nothing, right? They still kick a field goal or whatnot. I guess that's a little bit of a risk, but not as much as losing the game. Don't die for that pile on unless you know you can get it, right? Don't fumble out of the end zone if you don't want to lose the game. It's that simple. Pretty simple right there, right? I think that's an okay rule. Who we got tonight? We got Falcons, Buccaneers, Monday Night Football. Who do I got? Who do I got? It's hard to root for. They're wanting the Buccaneers. Well, I want the Buccaneers to win. I think everybody wants the Buccaneers to win because the Falcons are sneaking up in there. Right? They'll sneak up into that wild card. Everybody wants them to win. I don't really care if the Vikings fans. We're in the playoffs. Fuck you. But... I think the Falcons are going to win. Buccaneers, straight trash. Straight trash, homie. Straight trash, homie. Yeah, Randy Moss, baby. Straight cash, homie. Um, But yeah, I think Falcons pull it out tonight. And uh, everybody in the wild card cries a little bit. They get a little scared. And they cry. What are your guys' thoughts on these fucking Saturday games, by the way? I didn't know what was happening until I, I was seeing scores on Saturday. I was like, what the fuck is this? What is this? You go, did they have a Thursday night football game? I didn't pay attention to that either. Yeah, I'm, I'm real fucking smart, aren't I? If they skip Thursday night, I guess it's okay. Nope, they did not. It was Broncos. Broncos played. The Chalages. Broncos played the Colts. <laughs> what a showdown between two fucking sluggers. Thursday Night Football is awesome. What do they go? They go, what does the NFL go? Though no. They go, hey, we're losing ratings. Might be because of oversaturation. Oh, fuck. The fucking Vikings play on Saturday? God damn it. I want to see the Vikings play fucking Sunday with my family. See him freak the fuck out. Packers, Vikings, with the fam. With the entire fam. My family's a bunch of psychos, by the way. They freak out. Oh my god, it would have been great. Would have gotten hammered. Would have laughed at them. I don't freak out as much as them. Still freak out a little bit. But we'll just have it on Saturday because oversaturated. Where was I? I was talking about oversaturation of the market. And that's why the NFL is losing ratings. They go, hey. We got Sunday, we got Monday. What else do we want? We want Thursday night football. <laughs> Why not? Why the fuck not have some Thursday night football? Yeah. All right. Let's make it the shittiest games we possibly can, by the way. Let's make the worst teams we can pick to play. And let's just dress them up in cool, not even cool outfits. They're just ugly. Ugly little jerseys. Let's make a prance around out there. Great TV. Everybody's going to fucking watch it, right? No, nobody's gonna watch your dumb fucking shit, NFL. All right. So the NFL goes into their little fucking meeting room and they're like, losing ratings here. What should we do? Let's have some fucking games on Saturday, too. <laughs> people, people are already sick of the NFL oversaturating the market. Let's. Put some games on Saturday. And let's see how it goes. So let's let's see if that works to revitalize the NFL. I know people are out there. They're going, The NFL is failing because the players are taking the knee, 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 knee. Fuck you. Okay. No. No. It's because they go. And it's football every fucking day almost. Right? What is that? It's Tuesday. Wednesday. And Friday of no football. That's three days out of seven days, right? That means that means there's more days of football on at night than there aren't. Which is ridiculous. In my opinion, that is. And if you well, I guess high school's not really going on right now, but Friday, that's taken up too, right? Too much football. Too much football in my opinion. But people will still insist that it's because players are kneeling. Disrespecting the flag. No. No, that's not what it's about. It's not what it's about. But whatever you want to think, right? 
Anyways, I'll probably do it. I covered all the games here. Got my little rants out. It's kind of nice. Just, just talking to a microphone, getting getting your thoughts out. So I might do this again. Maybe maybe Friday. A little a little Pete's picks, we'll call it. Pick some, pick some teams after Thursday night football because nobody watches Thursday night football or cares. Who is it? Who's, who's even playing? Are they going to play Thursday night football this this week? Are they? Ooh, ooh, are they not going to play it? Yeah, they got two Christmas games. No Thursday night football game this week. Awesome, awesome as a possum right there. Good call, NFL. Anyways, so we'll go. I'll pick some teams. Maybe Friday. Maybe give you a little heads up on. Uh, where my fantasy team is at. What we're doing here. And if the championship is mine or not. Or if I'm going to be. Cr- I'll probably be crying if it's not. Anyways. Have a good day. Great Monday. Great week. See you Friday, motherfuckers.